Hello everyone, I'm Sara. Hope you're doing fine. If you're visiting this channel for the first time, my name is Sara. I teach Urdu as a second language. I teach online as well, but on this channel, I make free Urdu grammar lessons. If you're learning Urdu, go ahead and subscribe. So as the Halloween is approaching and many of my students and friends celebrate Halloween, I thought what a great way to teach you some scary vocabulary. I'll also teach you the names of some monsters that are specific to Pakistan, some supernatural beings. I hope I'll not creep you out too much today, but a little bit is fine. I have never celebrated Halloween, but I always make a list of all the movies that I'm going to watch on Halloween. My favorite movie is The Shining, but it's too creepy, so don't watch it with friends. What is your favorite movie and do you celebrate Halloween? So now, let's first study the word horror, which is drona. Drona or drone. I like drone movies. I like drone movies. Do you like it? Our first supernatural thing is Bhut. Have you ever heard this word Bhut? I think it's the title of one of the Bollywood movies. I've never seen it. But if you've seen it, it might sound familiar. Bhut. Now the second one is the witch, which is Churel in Urdu. Churel. Churel. The Ra sound is not the Ra sound. Churel. Another name for Churel is Pichil Peri. Pichil Peri. Pichil Peri is a very famous one. It's a reverse footed or back footed witch with long hairs, long nails. It roams the mountain of Pakistan and India, specifically Himalayas. It's very fresh in my mind because the other day I was talking to one of my students and she told me to watch a movie called Bulbul, Bul, which is an Indian movie. And I watched it and it's all about Pichil Peri or Chuvel. If you want to have a clear idea about it, go watch this movie. It's called Bulbul. Bul. Churel is a quite famous one in Indian Pakistan. And it is said that they lure the men with their beauty and then afterwards they eat them. Next on our list is Pari. Pari is fairy. In the folklore, it is said that the Pariya inhabit the northern part of Pakistan. A German climber hiked up to these mountains and he saw a lot of fairies. And apparently named it Fairy Meadows. <laughs> it's, it's quite interesting, isn't it? What is your favorite folklore creature? The next mythical creature is Jalpari. Jalpari, which is a mermaid. Jalpari. There's a song which is one of my favorite called Jalpari by Atif Aslam. If you want to watch it, I'll link it in the description box. The next one, the next one is Adam Khor, which is a cannibal. Adam Khor. Adam means animal and Khor is the eater, the human eater. Adam Khor. So next, we have another cryptid called Banmanas. Banmanas. This is the local version of Himalayan Yeti. This name comes from Sanskrit, which means men of the forest. So the next one is Nagan. Nagan. This is a female serpent. They're half human and half cobra. They're, they're quite important in Buddhism, Hinduism and Jainism. There's an Indian drama named Nagan as well. Um, I have never seen it. The last one is Dio. Dio. This means a giant. Dio. We have a knack for naming our landscapes in the name of mythical creatures. So this is the Osai. It's a meadow, it's a grassland, a plateau that's called the Osai from Dio and Sai. It was believed that the giants lived there. Now that's it for the monsters. Okay, so now let's see how people celebrate or decorate their houses on Halloween. They decorate it with skeletons sometimes, like dhancha. 
ढांचा और स्कल खोपड़ी खोपड़ी दैट मीन्स स्कल खोपड़ी Just the other day, my student had some candles in the candelabra behind her, so that I think in Halloween people also put candles in the house. That's called mumbattiya. Mumbattiya. Mum means wax and batti means light. Mumbattiya. Log mumbattiya jalate hain. People also put cobwebs in the house, which called makri ke jale. Makri ke jale. Makri is Spider and jale is cobweb. Makri ke jale, the cobweb of spider. K means of. I guess jack o' lantern is called jack o' lantern. I can't really think of another way, but pumpkin is called kaddu, kaddu. The decorated pumpkins are called saje hue kaddu, saje hue kaddu. Saje hue means decorated. Saje hue kaddu. Chimgadar is bat. Chimgadar. Chimgadar. It's quite a it's quite an ugly word. What do you think? Chimgadar. Cemetery or graveyard is called Kabrustan. Kabrustan. Kabr is a grave and Kabrustan is the place where the graves are. Kabrustan. People wear costumes at night, which is called malbusat. Malbusat. It's the plural of libas, libas, which is a costume, a dress. Let's see what people do on Halloween. They scare other people. वो डराते हैं. Darana is to scare someone off. Darana. They give candies. Toffee देते हैं. Toffee देते हैं. चीखते हैं. They scream. चीखते हैं. या खौफनाक आवाज निकालते हैं खौफनाक मीन्स डेंजरस और लाइक फ्राइटनिंग आवाजें निकालना इज टू प्रोड्यूस डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ साउंड्स आवाजें इज साउंड्स और वॉइस एंड निकालना इज टू प्रोड्यूस खौफनाक आवाजें निकालते हैं वेल दैट्स इट आई होप यू आर अ लिटल स्केयर्ड बाय नाउ आई एम अ लिटल क्रीप आउट एज वेल आई एम मेकिंग इट एट वन ए एम द मॉर्निंग सो so i feel a little creeped out i hope you enjoyed this video if you did click on the like button i just want to take a moment and thank my first patreon joe thank you joe you are wonderful thank you so much it made my day i'm going to see you guys later have a lovely week and goodbye